So I had a revelation four days ago and I just and I was like, Lord, what does this mean? Because the dream was just something that, you know, in the beginning it was not clear to me. So I was like, no, there must be something to this um, revelation. I had, and I kept asking the Lord in my spirit, what does this mean? What are you trying to say? Hey guys, thank you so much for being here. You're welcome to today's podcast. I'm so happy, excited that you're here to watch today's video because I think it's going to be of a blessing to us all. Um, yeah, don't forget to subscribe, like and share in case you haven't. So guys, let's get into what I have for you guys. Um, three, four, four days ago, I had a, a, a revelation and it was not so, so, it was not so clear. I was like, I was trying to like process it in my head because the revelation was something that, okay, I didn't get so it was a little bit confusing but when i was asking the holy spirit what are you trying to tell me something came into my mind that i want to share with you guys um because trust me if only we know the battles that god is fighting has fought behind us behind closed doors when we know who dies we just like when we wake up every single day we'll just be smiling and be appreciating him like people that you know that's <laughs> that, that, that are going crazy because the lord is doing a lot in our life behind closed doors you might not see that thing that he's doing. You might feel that he's not doing anything. You might feel that, you know, he's not doing anything. That is why your life is the way it is. It is because of what he has been doing, what he is still doing behind closed doors. That is why that situation of yours is not worse. We just need to acknowledge him. We just need to thank him. We just need to continue to put our faith in him in order for him to perfect that which he has started. But to the revelation that I had that I want to share with you guys. So I was in this kind of a dream, you know, I was in this circle. I mistakenly end up in this circle. So it was not planned in the dream. And I was like, okay, you know, I was, I'm not here because of this. So how come I'm here at this other place? So it was just a garden of some wicked men, you know. And I was like, I was there, find myself there. So they were like saying something like, okay, you know, um, you know, we want you to be here because you are kind of respected person and people love you. So this is the word, word for word. This is what, you know, the, the, some of this men were saying. So they want me to be in that circle because I am, that's, I'm a person that people love, people respect me. And I was like, yeah, people love me and respect me because I love them back, because I do the things of God. But you guys, I was telling them in the dreams, you guys, all you think about is evil. You don't love people. You just sit and plan evil against, you know, that was the dream was like that. So and at that circle, I was not supposed to, nobody does get up and walk out of that circle. So when I told them, you know, the, 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 the purpose of their meeting, so I got, I was angry in my spirit and I left. And in that, in that circle, nobody leaves, you know. Okay. And I woke up and I was like, how come I find myself in that circle? And how come nobody can get up and walk out of that place? But how come I did? And something came into my mind. Proverbs 16 verse 7 says when your way pleases God he will cause your enemy to be at peace with you so this is what the Holy Spirit just put in my heart I was like oh it began to be you know very clear in my in my heart when your way pleases God your enemy the ones that you've been trying to kill when your way pleases God when you walk with God in spirit and in truth when you surrender yourself to God he is the one that is doing the fighting. He is the one that is doing everything behind you to make sure that no harm will befall you. He said, even though we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, we should fear no evil because of who is with us, because of who got our back, because of who we serve. Even though you walk through the valley of the shadow of death, you shall fear no evil for thou art with me, the rock and the staff. They comfort me. If your way pleases God, if you serve God in spirit and in truth, if you turn from your ways, if you surrender yourself to the Lord Jesus Christ, just take a minute, just take a moment and imagine. If God can still be blessing you, you are not a faithful child of His. You are not doing the things that you are supposed to do. You are not worshipping Him in spirit and in truth. Me and you, we know that. But He is still faithful. His blessings, you'll still see his blessings in our in your life, in my life. 
we are still seeing the handwork of God in our life. We are still seeing the miracle of God in our life. And we know that we are not even a, a, a genuine, you know, worshiper of God. We don't really worship it in spirit and in truth. And if we can still see all those things that he is doing for us, trust me, when we worship him in spirit and in truth, when we surrender and acknowledge him and put our faith in him, just imagine, take a second and like process it, how our life is going to be like. If he can still be blessing us just the way we are, why can't we be hungry? Why can't we have that hunger to want to like walk with him in spirit and in truth? We should let our ways please him. We should let our ways so that he can get up, he can rise up and fight our fight for us. If he can still bless us the way we are, which means we should do more so that, you know, we can get the full presence of God, the full package that he has for us already. And the Lord, the, the Holy Spirit told me, when your way pleases your heavenly father, you know, he will cause your enemy to be at peace with you. Proverbs 6, 17. I was like, okay, okay. The Lord is our shepherd, we shall not want. He makes us to lie down in green pastures. He leads us beside the still water. He restored our soul for him for his name's sake. Even though we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, we shall fear no evil. It's not, it's not, it's not saying that evil will not be there because we are walking, but because of him, we will not be afraid. We will trample upon lions, scorpions, serpents, and they shall not hurt us. When your way please God, when you preserve God with in spirit and in truth, He will get up for us, He will fight for us, He will deliver us. You become one of His generals, you become one of His sons and daughters. He would not play with you. He has already prepared our table in the presence of our enemy. In their presence, He has already prepared our table. So when our way please God, when you walk in the Spirit of God, when you fill yourself with the Spirit of God, when you surrender yourself, when you make yourself available, make your heart his dwelling place, nothing can stand God. And there is nothing that can fight God. You become another person like God because we are God here on earth. We are made in his image and likeness. We are the representative of God. Nothing can stand him. You become that same person that nothing can stand. Nothing can challenge you. No affliction that can afflict your body because of what you carry, because what lives in you. Greater is he that lives in you than he that lives in the world. When your way please God, when you walk with him in spirit and in truth, when you surrender yourself, your, your, your life to him, when you acknowledge him, when you believe on what his son Jesus did on the cross of Calvary for my sake and for your sake, he said it is finished. He said, yes, whatever that was not there in the beginning, he took everything away. When your way please him, when you walk with him, when you pray for the Holy Spirit to give you the strength from heaven for your way to be at peace with the Lord, for your way to be aligned with the things of God, when you pray that prayer constantly, constantly, that does not mean you're not going to face challenges. That does not mean that things will not happen. That does not mean that you might not fall out, but the ability for you to fall and get up back because you know what God wants for you, because you know what you're doing, because you know what God has deposited in you. The righteous shall fall seven times, but they shall get up and move when you wait please God when you want to walk with him when he sees that your heart is hungry for his things he will come and fill you he will come and quench that thirst the heart of man plan his ways but the Lord establish his steps because your way please him he will guide you he will lead you he will make you do things that your strength with your strength can never cannot do for you he will make you to live that life that he has wanted you to live, that he has already prepared for you here on the earth. He will make you to walk with him in spirit and in truth when your way please him. Your heart is to plan and he is the one that is going to direct your steps. I just want to like encourage us out there. It looks or sounds very difficult to serve God in spirit and in truth because of the kind of generation that we have now, because of what is happening around the world. But trust me, when you are so hungered for him genuinely, he will fill you. 
he will direct you. He will make you stand still. He will make you see that there is a place for you in my heart. We are just the one that is running away. The Spirit of God said to me, when your way please me, the Father, I will cause everything to be at peace with you. I will cause everything to stand still for your sake. I will cause you to prosper in your business. I really pray that the Holy Spirit bless this word in our hearts. Where we are now as a believer is not where God wants us to be. No matter how well you think you're doing, no matter how satisfied you are, trust me, the plans he has for me and you, it is better than what you have now, than where you are now. It is better, it's far better than what you have in hand now. But better than what plan you have for yourself because the plan that he has for us it is of good and not of evil that will take us to an expected end if God can be faithful even just the way we are we are not a perfect being we can never be perfect we try our best but our best cannot be good enough because our righteousness before him is like a filthy rag but thank God for grace thank God for mercy Thank God for his love. When you will please him, everything will be at peace with you. I pray that the Holy Spirit bless this word into our heart in the name of Jesus. Thank you so very much. Don't forget to share the video, like, and subscribe to the channel. See you guys next time.